Hello, Nana here, and welcome back to Rimworld Alpha 13. We are still recovering from the double assault, the burning down of half the base, and the loss of a lot of our food and medicine. So I had a brief look at what everybody's doing, uh, assigned, reassigned to some of the roles. Because a lot of people got burned and they got wounded during the, the fighting. So we now have three hunters, three primary hunters, Gamebug Finder, JGL Bridge and RV. They all have a very good accuracy. They have a, 90, a roughly 95% accuracy with, uh, with their weapon. So those are going to be the hunters. And I just told RV to actually pick up a weapon because he didn't have one anymore. So currently he does. Oh, wait, you. Uh, you're actually supposed to equip it, not hold it. Uh, equip the pistol, please. Yeah. Uh, Fury here, we might as well hold one of the. this one hold this one so someone else can pick it up if we need it. Is this any good? This is normal. 49% quality. People are going to complain about it. Probably going to be pretty darn awful. Yeah. Oh, just carry that one up. So, JJ don't have a weapon either. Oh, well, that's mighty convenient. So let's have a, a look. Louis, you run. You will fight and everybody else just runs as well. Some people are really, really bad at actually hitting stuff. So let's have a, a look. Macho P, what's your hit chance? 90%. Okay, you're a backup hunter. RV, your primary. Augustine. So you're roughly 90%. I think that makes you a fallback, right? Yeah, that makes you a fallback hunter. JJ is lacking a weapon. Louis, he's got a knife. Gamebug finder. You're a hunter and you have the survival rival. Max Masterman is unarmed, but is also not a hunter. Veneros, uh, I think you actually lost... Uh, your arm. Yeah, it's really hard to hunt if you don't have an, uh, your arms. And now we've cycled through. So once RV delivers the gun back, then JJ can pick up the weapon. Not to be so it's still very cold outside. We have a cold snap coming on. Indoors, we are managing to keep things warm. But that's only just, well, barely. We got six heaters now. And we actually need all of them just to keep the temperature up. Oh uh, no, wait. I actually did the thing where I have three at lower temperatures and three at higher temperatures. So we roughly stick to the lower temperature. I think so are going to be pretty good. Um, JJ, yes, you're researching. Once you are... Wait, there you're never ever done with researching. So let's just uh, give you your pistol. Excellent. Poor mood, much be. Why are you? Do you have poor mood? You're sick, you're a pessimist, and you're in a moderate amount of, moderate amount of pain. Ah, you still got the muscle parasite problem. Yeah, that's that's not a good thing. That's uh, consuming a lot of our uh, resources as well. Let's see, Gamebook Finder, you were our charismatic person, weren't you? Yes, let's have a chat with Ellie. Oh, no, run, don't run. I don't know if we actually spoke with you yet or not. Is there anything to buy? Um, no. It's the short answer. I think we already sold some of our shoddy equipment to them. Hey, you're hunting a doe during the night. Seriously? No, you're gonna go back. Also, that's alpaca. Aren't you gonna hunt an alpaca now? You're not hunting, right? You're hunting the alpaca. It's mine. Buzz off. Uh, it's good and poorly. 
you're consuming. Just uh, take you out. You're not the fastest either. Okay, that's just uh, the snow. Also, see if we can declare our bear hunt. Shot to the to the leg. That means it's uh, moving not as fast as it could. Also, this one is marked for pickup, but it's already been eaten 20%. Let's see if we can kill the bear. If we kill the bear, then we have a lot of food back on the menu. Can Bug Founder, you actually need to hit the bear. Come on, it's a bear. How hard is it to hit it? Grizzly bear revenge. So far, pretty good. Reposition you a little bit. Yeah, let's just go there. Faster than a bleeding bear. Okay, let's actually position you around there. Bear might walk into a trap. Bear spotted the trap. Smart bear. And excellent, you prioritize hunting it. RV, can you hold? Yes, you can hold the alpaca. Excellent. The food is back on the menu, people. Ah, good, good, good. So at least solved some of our problem. We now have two corpses that we can butcher. Turn them into uh, nice warm parkas. That's going to be good. Other than that, though, we still need more medicine. Well, let's see if a trader comes by, maybe a trade caravan with some uh, some medicine. But so far, so good. Wait, what should be? Are you a night owl? You're not a night owl. You're just very neurotic. Also, you might need some food. Uh, you're gonna trigger food yourself after the horseshoes, now, I think. You are very well rested. Even though it is 2 a.m. Ah, chatting at it. Well, everybody is pretty. pretty good. Okay. So, hydroponics, I think, was one of the next plans I had on the on the list. We need to research it still. Or maybe just indoor farming. How are we in terms of power generation? So we've got two solar cells. We got our wind generator. We have some batteries that are generating power. And even now, when the solar cells are not doing anything, we're generating an excess of power. And it's only going to go further up. Breakdown heater. Well, someone's gonna fix it. I've got repairing. For everybody who can uh, construct, repairing is a number one priority. And only cooking and wardening and doctoring and things like that have a higher priority. Also, I think you, as a six skill passionate doctor, you probably want it as a number two task. We're making uh, making meals here. Ooh, we got over 200 meat from that bear. And the alpaca still needs to be butchered. In terms of food, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy. So we're just gonna gather some wood. Just chop a couple more trees. Order. Let's uh, clear snow a little bit. Also, to this side. That's 
No need to go there. It's very slow to hold that wood though. Might not be the best to use over time. It's the first day of spring and it's very, very cold outside, but that's mostly due to the cold snap, I fear. Once this cold snap is over, we're gonna get a proper spring. Okay, you are hunting me though. Getting more meat on the table. Ah oh, yes, so, there's a warg wandering about. Still a lot of stuff that we could potentially haul back in. Artillery shots. Expand our home area. Okay, this is our home. It's just not being cleaned yet. Fair enough, fair enough. And most of the wood has been holding. So, most people are still holding. I wonder the relocation. So I figure people want to sleep in good beds. So normal and poor quality beds we're gonna be used for our colonists and everything that's lower, like shoddy. We'll just use it for the for the prison. We have an, enough beds for now anyway. So poor mood. Why do you have a poor mood? You ate without a table. There's a table there. Okay. Also, this is pretty full. Is that why they're not working on stones? Ah, now people are gonna drag all the clothing in. Okay. Well, all the holding it needs to happen anyway. And I did... Why do you need treatment? Ah, it's the muscle parasites. Okay, fair. You go to the bed. Then we have Louis. Who is coming back with some silver. And we're just gonna tell Louis to fix you up. Excellent. Eating food. Okay, JJ's already uh, patching you up. Yeah, that's fine as well. Don't really care who does it. As long as it happens. So, we're gonna get a lot of materials. Um, did we have a, an extra storage? Here? Yes, we did. So maybe we just should put all the metal in here. If we just say, well, we don't want silver and steel in here then we're just gonna move it over those are raw resources so. stone blocks yeah, if we just keep the stone and the, the cloth in here then that's gonna be nice and close let's say well we don't want steel or plasteel or wood or silver or hops actually hops needs to be refrigerated Silly game. Augustine is probably gonna go to bed now as well. Yep. Hey, and that's another day gone by. Cold snap is still going strong. But we got enough food. We are slowly, slowly burning through our medicine. It's uh, one bit of medicine every two days. For the people with the muscle parasites. So, no, oh, again, it just we we need a lot of. Uh, we just need a, a large stockpile of medicine to deal with a situation like this. And prosthetics, definitely, definitely gonna be uh, an important future topic. Speaking of, are there peg legs that we can install? I don't think so. Nope. 
This is all arms and eyes. So that's a much be. You don't need to be treated for parasites, so rest until healed. Oh. Ah, oh, Louis was actually coming by for some, some bad care. At least he picks up the medicine again. That's good. And then everybody's going on. I think every treatment there's like a small chance of it being cured. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, cold snap's over, so this is gonna clear up pretty soon. And this being the middle of spring, we're probably gonna see some planting relatively soon. So maybe we should also say, hey, yo, this farm. Let's uh, keep it clear of snow. That might be a, a good idea. This is just some very vague green outlines that you can see. We should just also have a small area around it. Nah, whatever. That, that's gonna be enough. So this is gonna be snow clear. If someone ever actually gets around to it. And maybe this entire bit should be snow clear. No, just saying otherwise there's gonna be efficient pathing around the snow. Which of course we don't want. There's a blight. It has destroyed our crops, which have not been planted anyway. So let's see. We just disassembled some uh, ships, so we have more components. And this is just thin snow, but it's gonna melt. Poor mood. Much happy. That because you're in pain. Yes. Ugly environment, you're sick, disturbed sleep, tired. Shouldn't you then just, no, go back to bed? Yes, see, just reset you. Sleepy time. I think the final bits of hauling. Yes, oh, there's a lot of stuff to haul. Ah, digging graves, that's good. That means we're gonna put the corpses in the floor before they start to rot. We're cooking a simple meal. I think it's better to just uh, bury some corpses. For you as well. Yeah, it's gonna bury the other corpse. Ooh, also, we managed to finish all our turrets. That's good. Eventually, we're going to expand this. Just add more to it but for now this is a, a simple enough setup that's gonna keep some I mean, we had an attack of about a dozen tribes people and they nearly they managed to wipe themselves out pretty well there so two people with a poor mode let me guess they both have uh, muscle parasites it's max and machibi yep yeah. Let's see, can we give you a roster that just has more joy? So, Max. More joy, an extra hour of joy. Much should be as well. All joy and no work. Well, not quite, but also this buffalo got killed by the bear. We're gonna hunt you as well. Just because you were eating the buffalo. This one we missed a desiccated wild boar. This one we were just dust in time. This one we missed. I suppose it's fair. I mean if the bears eat something. Oh <laughs> it looks like the wild boar falls back. How is this one's health? Oh, it's just been bruised a little bit by a deer. They all look pretty asleep, not dead. 
how are you? Healthy, not injured. Work, also healthy. Fun though, if they manage to tame a work. I think they're pre raw meat and corpses. Melee DPS 6. So 10.75 per hit. 1.7 seconds per attack. 98% chance to hit. Something like that. Heavily muscled wolf like creatures. Well, that's like dogs, right? Scientists say wargs are the descendants of weapon weaponized military animals created for population suppression. The superstitious see them as the tools of an angry god. They will only eat meat or corpses. Records. Time finding food and eating. Three and a half hours. Time hunting. Two and a half hours. Damage dealt. 62. It's nice that there's now a, a, a tab with stats for everything. Also, trainable intelligence. What is wildness? Wild creatures are naturally more difficult to tame, train and handle. Okay. So there's a chance if you try to tame it, it was just gonna bite your arm off. Seems legit. Okay, so if we are gonna set up a... An animal pen. We probably want some to reserve some space for that to just keep our animals like livestock. Or if we have no oh, deer or boars or buffalo, oh, we need food for them. Yeah, we have grizzly bear revenge. That sounds micromanaging. Yes, AJ, get out. You are moving slower. You've also been hit. Yes. Bit by a grizzly. That uh, was not particularly smart. Game bug finder. You are gonna help out. That bear is still take it doing quite some damage and it moving rather quickly. Augustine, do you have a weapon? Yes, you got a bow. Excellent. Put you there. Put you there. Just to uh, strafe past it. One circles around the others. The bear is slowing down now. Excellent. You hunt the bear. You keep going. You are hunting. Oh, you're just holding the buffalo. This one is being targeted by us. Question is, who is going to do it? JJ will be out of commission for a little bit. Are you? Yes, you are. Ah, excellent. Managed to reinstall some bed. So, surely bed, surely bed. Excellent. That also means this is now going to be the prison and one of them is going to be the medical bed. So this is a poor bed. This is a normal bed. This is poor. This is normal. This is a good bed. Poor bed. Poor bed. Double poor bed. And these are just poor and normal. So there, it's rather important to have your better builders build beds. Let's see, go treat JJ. Hopefully, hopefully we can avoid some kind of inflammation. That's going to be annoying otherwise. Uh, the scratches, the the bite got patched up pretty well. I hope it's not going to get infected. We'll see. By the way, how much uh, medical plants? Let's see, this is hops. This is hay grass. Yes, hay grass is for, uh, for animals. Potato plants, corn, cotton, rice, strawberry, hill roots, 
potatoes and poplar trees. I think we are going to expand our uh, hillwood farm by a little bit. Just double it. We need a lot of hillwood. Okay. So, this is going to do its a growy thing. Okay, so... Temperatures are good. Everything is good. Excellent. Nobody is going after uh, the bear yet. Also seems good. But we still have to micromanage it a little bit. Augustine. Corvo. What should be again? Okay. How oh, is this going? Still some iron left. Still some silver left. Uh, wow, there's actually quite a bunch of steel. Oh, these are just little bits from the sandbags that we disassembled. Uh, that's okay. Decent EMPs are gonna get dragged in. Okay. How's our power? Rising, that's good. That's very good. Grizzly bear revenge. Uh, wow, that was pretty well actually. Manipulation, weakened. Oh, double trouble with the casual bears. I'm moving slightly slower. Uh -huh. Move you over. We will need more hunters for this. Who's got a gun? You've got a gun, excellent. We RV, you are now a hunter. Okay, and then actually please shoot at the one in the back since that one is moving faster. Did it help? Hit it in the liver. Okay, we got RV. Let's see, set you up there. Send you off to the side there. So we need RV to inflict the damage. Actually get you in closer, see if we can just uh, kite around for a little bit. So far so good, okay. That one is now nearly dying. We can the other bear. Might have hit it, it's moving slower. Excellent. Team-based hunting, it works. Okay, put you down there. Excellent. So you, wait, actually you just hold it, you, uh, hunt it, right. Excellent, bear meat is back on the menu, people. So two bears, that's 400 meat, so we go over a thousand, I think at 20 meat per meal, that's a lot of meals. 50 meals. <sighs> okay, we're not gonna starve, that's good. Medicine is still an issue, but starvation seems to be staved off for now. And I think cleaning is probably gonna be important as well. But I think for now we're gonna put a cut in here. So starvation has been uh, staved off. We're not gonna we're not gonna die from food. We have things back on the road. Spring has started. We've started started planting stuff. We'll have to see what we're gonna do. So we're planting hay grass, which means we can feed livestock. 
So during this, this spring and, and summer season, let's see if we can uh, capture some animal, tame them and see what we can do there. Let's see if we can expand a little bit. But that's going to be in a future episode. So thanks for watching and see you next time.